you ever tweet about is football and mm. blah said you were this way or that way. Like, end of day, I've read so many things that people have said about me in the past. Usually find myself getting a bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of a talking to from myself. But it's not really on point. Times when someone attacks it straight away when it's you uploaded it 30 seconds ago. So it can be quite difficult sometimes where. So on my channel recently, I've been doing some kind of deeper interviews. You've seen the ones with Hannah and Grace, and I thought, let's even it out a bit. Let's do one with a fella. So I've got Josh here for today. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Now, how does it feel when I say I'm going to go a bit deep? Does that fill you with dread and fear, or are you OK about exposing I, things like that? I'm sure it can't be worse than some of the stuff I've been asked before, so it's fine. Um, I feel like I'm a pro at this now. I feel like I can answer questions and not give too much away, but also give enough of an answer to keep you happy as well. We kind of want you to give too much away oh, today. Yeah, That's so the that point. Is, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, maybe I'll just have to rein it in if I go a bit overboard, but I'm okay. sure it'll be fine. Now, do you find, because of your career, you have become more guarded as a person generally because you've had to, to protect yourself in a way? Um, I don't think so, to be honest. Actually, one of the things that my friends always tend to say to me is that I'm too, like... I'm too open to meeting new people and sort of being like generous and, and, and stuff like that, especially on nights out. I have a tendency to be like, oh, your friends are bloody blah, blah, let's get around and sort of thing. And like a lot of my friends are like, you don't have to do that, like you don't even know them sort of thing. Um, but I try, I'm guarded in the sense that, um, not because I'm in a band, but I guess like just parts of my character have made me want to be like that over time. But for the most part, I think it's important to, to take every day as like a, um, I don't know, like with a, a good mentality and a, and a mentality of not just what's good for you, but also to meet new people and hope they can have a good impact on yourself. So I try not to be guarded because I think you might miss out on someone or something amazing if you are. So, um, and plus I'm sort of at that age now where I don't really have time to like mess around. Like if I like somebody and I want to spend time with them as a friend or or business wise or otherwise or whatever it might be, like I'm not gonna try and, you know, navigate my way around it by being, you know, trying to play a certain game or a certain style. So I usually just be like, This is me, I'm a bit of an idiot. <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> deal with it, yeah. So yeah, that'd be my answer, I guess. And that's working for you. I guess so. I I mean nothing <laughs> nothing yeah, nothing drastically terrible has happened, so I guess I've let the light, I've, um, pardon me, I've let the right people in mm. at the right time in my life and yeah, it's all going good, so. I guess you get a lot of people approaching you who don't necessarily have the, the best intentions or aren't going about it for the right reasons. Can you spot those people quite easily now, the disingenuine people, you know, the, the fake always, people? Yeah, I think I've always had a little, I think I've always had a radar for it, to be honest, um, but mainly because I try and think how would I be with somebody if the shoe was near the foot sort of thing. And so I can tell when it's sort of like immediately trying to get something out of it. Um, but to be honest, again, I, I've sort of, as much as I am a wannabe social butterfly, like I'm not sort of out in London every Friday, Saturday, you know, I'm not, I don't go out that much. When I do go out, I go out with a group of friends and usually the chances of being surrounded by people that, maybe want to take advantage of, I don't know what they can get out of, out of me or, or you, me, six, to be honest, but other than like a tour or just the sake of saying that, I don't know, whatever they want to do to be honest. But again, I try not to worry about that sort of stuff because end of day, I've read so many things that people have said about me in the past or or have people say, oh, bloody blah, I said you were this way or that way. And I just thought, feel like, well, you can't really control what people are going to say about you or, or think about you. So just concentrate on the people that you care about you know, um, the people that you care about wanting to have a good, leave a good impression with, you know, worry about what they're going to think and rather than worrying too much about everybody else. Is that kind of an ongoing process? Can you always do that? Or some days does it get to you still? If you see something negative or you hear something negative, does it kind of get you in there? I get, I don't, I get, um, I get a little bit flustered when it's, I feel, um, what's the word? unfair criticism of something when it's not like when I feel that they've got a valid point or because I always try, I always look at every situation within the band or anything that I do anyway really with a sort of with a view that there could be pros and cons of 
of everything that I'm doing. And I think that, especially when you put out something like new music, it can be quite difficult sometimes when someone attacks it straight away when it's when you've uploaded it 30 seconds ago, so they can't even listen to the whole song yeah. yet. Or when people just say dumb stuff like about, I don't know, some my friends or my family or my girlfriend or 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 anything in the lad, in the lads in the band where I just feel like it's not really on point and I think I do get annoyed about it but I just try and remember that I'm a 24 year old man and that I have like some sort of especially online some sort of social responsibility to not all to rise to what people say and sometimes admittedly like I've let my guard down mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and sort of like let it let it let it hit me and I've hit back and, and then instantly I realise like that makes me look just as immature and, and sort of, I don't know, very uncool mm. to be doing, behaving that sort of way. So I just usually find myself getting a bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of a talking to from myself, but yeah, I don't and know. other band members, do they go, Josh, you shouldn't have said that? Or... No, not really, to be no. honest, like, because we all, we all have our moments and I think that's what makes everybody human is that, um, and again, that's sort of, that's the license of having these social media platforms, you know, like Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, is that, in theory, people are engaging with you on that because they want to know not just a little bit about your life, but everything about your life, or at least as much as you're willing to expose. So if I say something, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, my mum will be like, all you ever tweet about is football and your, and your thing. And I'm like, well, that's what I like. So if they don't want to look at that, they don't have to look at that. And there, obviously there's been moments where I've got myself in trouble a few times of other people in other bands or whatever when I've said stuff and I've like, you know, then had it out with them face to face sort of thing and Max is the same but, and I think a few of us have done things like that but it's just sort of, we can't help the fact that we're human and we've got an opinion and sometimes we feel like we need to share it and for the most part maybe we could do without sharing it but I don't know, I don't know really what people expect, we're not, we're not, you know, Ronaldo, we're not <laughs> sort of Obama, like if we say something it's not, you know, it's not Justin Bieber, like, if we say something a bit outrageous, it's to a small chunk of people. But by outrageous, I mean, like, oh, that band's pretty crap, sort of thing. That's as far as it gets, no, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I've, I've never gone and then start, you know, talking about... Yeah, you know, you know the sort of topics, I, I mean. But, yeah, I wouldn't, be that, I wouldn't be that silly to go on about that sort of stuff, so...